There it is, the first crocus of the year. Spring has sprung. Let's go check out all the tree buds. My favorite crabapple tree, big pink flowers, and uh, just barely swelling up here. Here's where we are with red maples. Bud swell, but nothing really open. And we have a forest of red maples here, so, you know, pretty soon. And this here is our earliest apple tree. And you can see just sort of barely kind of showing life. And I can also see that the deer have done a job on this tree, just eating all the buds off. That's all deer damage. Damn deer, look at this. Just eating off the buds. The tips of all the trees are just eaten off. Ugh. All right, that's the apple trees. The field is still very brown, but if you look close, there's a hint of green coming up, but no sign of dandelions or anything. That's, that's weeks away. So yeah, not a lot of local forage for the bees. It feels like spring. It just hit 60 degrees today, but our nights are still down in the 20s at night, 30s at night. There's no snow or anything. The, the field's drying out. There's no mud. Uh, but we are going to get rain for the next three days. So the bees are out flying, but there's nothing for them to bring back. So today, checking the pollen patties, checking the stores, checking the brood. So the hives are drying out. Like this is not as wet as it was just, a, you know, a month ago when I first discovered all the moisture in the hive. So, you know, it's getting warmer and the bees are managing humidity and moisture. So these things are drying out all on their own. And a little bit of mold on the pollen patty. I think I'm gonna replace the pollen patty with a fresh one. Excuse me, bees. Let's just have a quick peek here. See how they're doing on stores and if they've been consuming any more honey since, uh, what, about a month ago? It's definitely a lot drier in here than it was. Yeah, these frames are lighter, noticeably lighter. The first video this year when I found all that, all the stores in the hives, that was about three weeks ago. Still a lot of honey in here, but noticeably lighter. A lot of honey on this frame. Let's see, there's a, there's a little bit of bee bread in here. A little bit. Looks like they're, they might be prepping cells for, for eggs. Woo! Look at that. There's larva out here. There's eggs all the way down to here. And then below that, this is bee bread down here at the very bottom, but we got a circle of brood right there. Boom. All the way around. And larva all over here. So she is moving out, widening her brood pattern. Okay, I'm gonna give them a new pollen patty and off they go. And on the recommendation of Ian Stepler and my buddy Ryan, I'm gonna put the pollen patty right over where the brood is. Because they said that they're gonna take the pollen patty down a lot faster if it's directly over the brood and I was putting it on the side, so let's see. Watch out bees, right there, bang. All right, they're taking the pollen patty, but definitely uh, not very fast. So again, a couple people commented in the comments and uh, Ian was telling me to put the pollen patty right over the brood. So I'll give that a shot next. I'm always open to suggestions.
Take it down. I see a bee with, with pollen. I haven't seen any fresh pollen coming in. So there's uh, some sort of light, very light green pollen, which is probably um, some kind of maple. Okay, this was a kind of a small hive, but we had a laying queen in here a couple weeks ago. Not taking much of a palm patty, so I'm gonna reduce this, give them like half a patty. Okay, there you go. Well, they took the patty. Holy cow, this hive is massive. Look at that hive. Just look at that colony of bees in April. And again, these are 16 inch deep frames. This is, this is like a 13 frame deep hive and it's wall to wall. This is a slamming hive. Okay, fresh patty for you. If you're wondering why I take the paper off, it's so they don't have to, because they don't need paper. Right in the middle, right over the brood. Enjoy. Okay, you wanna see another slamming hive? This is a slamming hive. Yeah, they had a pollen patty and a half. The first pollen patty's gone and they're halfway through the other half. All right, I'm gonna freshen up your pollen patty. This, again, this side here was in kind of a relatively small colony. Yeah, they took half a patty. I think I'm gonna refresh that for them. Here you go. This hive is humming. Hardly any patty taken. I'm gonna check this side over here because they didn't take much of the pollen patty and this is a real, this, this hive is like fanning like crazy. There were eggs in here when I checked a few weeks ago. I saw the queen. Can you hear that? They're, they're just roaring. Ah, we got a queen cell. All right, we have a queen cell right here with larva inside. So they're making a new queen. The queen that was in here a couple weeks ago was the original queen from the pine hive box. So she was, um, she was the queen that came with the package. She laid up that, that box in, in like crazy. And um, I split them, put her over here, and she survived the winter in here. We got fresh brood here, capped brood here. There's only one queen cell. You hear this hive? So I heard a sound which made me think there was a problem. And that, that roar usually means they're queenless. Okay, they got plenty of stores. They just lost their queen or they, they killed her and they're making a new one. So this hive is uh, doing its own thing. This is not a swarm situation. There's only one cell. I don't know if you can see in that queen cell there. Weird light. It's afternoon light here, so I'm just gonna let them do what they're doing. Making a queen. There's the problem is though, I don't think there's a lot of drones right now. So this queen, this may be a problem if the queen emerge well, she's not gonna emerge for what another seven days or so. They haven't capped it yet. So there won't be a queen for another week. There could be some drones out there. Okay, so we got a, a hive replacing a queen. 
All right, no big deal. Okay, so 11 out of 12 colonies seem queen right. They're taking pollen patties. Uh, they all seem great. Some of them seem slamming. So others seem like they're building just nice and steady. One colony, that one nuke, is missing a queen. I think they're just replacing her or something happened to her. I don't know, but she was there a couple weeks ago. Now she's not. They're making a queen, doing what nukes do. That's, that's a resource hive. I'm not worried about it at all. If the queen fails to mate because there's not enough drones in the area, I will just take another frame of eggs from another hive, drop it in there. They'll make a new queen a month from now. They'll be, they'll be fine. It's again, it's a nuke. It's just there as extra. So not worried at all. Other than that, everyone got new fresh pollen patties and we're just, uh, yeah, we're just waiting. There's, there's a few bees coming in with, with pollen on their legs, but not, not a lot. And there's definitely no nectar around here. So we're just waiting for the buds to open up, which is at least a week away. And we got three, four days of rain in a row starting tonight. So uh, they have palm patties and, and booming hives. So as soon as those, those buds open, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have a flow. So that's the news.